Hi everybody, this is the Microworms team and we have a problem, a pile of book and we don't know how to handle and manage our library. So we also have a solution, actually two of them, one for Windows Phone 7 and one for Android. Here our guys will show you how you can interact with our, our application and uh, manage your library. So let's see how we can add a book to the library. Let's do that. Okay, quick menu, scan book. And I just scanned the ISBN with the camera. Cool. And both. And here is the information coming from the web with the details on the book. And here we have them added to the um, library. Add some notes for the book. We can add a location or specify if it's a book that we have in the wish list or that we own. We added the book to the wish list here. We can remove and add like this. Uh, it's just a checkbox at the bottom, you click. But let's check out. Are you able to find out the prices for this book somewhere? You know. Oh, Spanish yes. Prices? We've got this extended menu. menu, and so we say check prices. Same here, menu, check prices. Cool. Nice. So we can pivot on the new books. Price of new books and used books. And we allow pivot on new, used, seller, and price. Right. Some reviews, details on the book. Do we have that? Or, uh... Yeah, we can go to the Amazon page here. Yeah. Same here, just click on the link. There you got the reviews. Nice. And you can buy the book as well. Now, can we search on our library, find out if we already have this book or not? Yep, hit the search button. We have the search option here. And you try programming, and you have that book in nice. the search results. Select that, you got the nice book details. Nice instant answers for Windows from 7. Right, same search, and you click it. You can get the same options again, edit, check prices and delete the book. Yep, really same cool. here. Really cool. Okay, so let's see now some features that we have on some, on one of the platform and we don't on the other. All right, let's All right. go. So on this phone, we have a way for you to be able to scan a new image of your book or add one if the one doesn't exist. Click a new cover image and then you just put it into view and you click the button and it updates it for you. Pretty nice. We also have a way on the main view to be able to sort by various things. So you can sort by when it was added most recently, title, author, name. And then, of course, when you um, have a good library collection, you can upload it to Google Docs. And cool. you click the upload button, and it starts showing some nice UI of it going. And, and what going it's doing. Going for real, come on. Yeah, and it's actually doing it up into Google Docs. So. Pretty cool. And I guess you can also share the document with some of your friends, right? Yep. And you can just click sh share and then type in somebody's email address and it'll share it with really them. Really cool. Really cool. Let's move to Windows Phone 7 and let's see what exciting feature we have over there. On the Windows Phone 7, the UI is really cool. So we concentrated on that. And for example, you should see the panorama here, which is a Windows Phone special. Uh, here I have a wish list option. Remember, we added the book to the wish list. If you go by that, you can pivot around the authors and the title. If you go to the book, you see the book details. It was in the wish list. It takes a little time to load the image. You can remove it from the wish list as easy as that. It's gone from the wish list, right? But we can also check the recent books we accessed here. Again, as a pan panorama item. And remember, we just accessed the showing for dummies. And it's there in the wish uh, recent. So you got it. Really cool, really cool. All right, so what can we tell about the development with Android, something we liked and something we disliked? So we'll start with uh, the things we disliked. The UI was very uh, complicated because it didn't really have an editor, which is a what you see is what you get type editor. So you basically had to see it on the uh, emulator. The emulator was sometimes uh, fragile and would just crash for no good reason. Um, and the camera was somewhat painful to program for on the Android. On the plus side, we got to make use of intent, so like the scanner application is actually using a separate 
app that's already installed on the Android platform called uh, Xing. Xing. And then we also had libraries we could easily add as well. So like the upload to Google Docs was through a library that somebody had already made for it because it's a more developed platform. All right, at Windows Phone 7, what do we get? The Windows Phone 7, uh, it's a new platform, so some of the APIs are not exposed to the Silverlight uh, programming environment. Uh, libraries are limited, but the good thing was uh, I could get a lot of libraries from the Android marketplace, uh, like the Google code, because you could convert the Java to C Sharp very easily. Um, the camera was not very good in some sense because we could not get the live feed from the camera with the exposed APIs, and the cameras don't read in the settings. Um, the tools were really good with Windows Phone 7, Visual Studio, and the emulator. I also found the UI was really easy to do. Like, uh, I was, I'm totally new to Silverlight, but this kind of uh, professional UI looks, uh, is very easy to do with the tools that are available. So I had a good experience with it. And the Android developers as well were new to the platform. So, in fact, all of our developers were new to the platforms we worked on. So. All right, so we call it the end. This is the MicroWorms team. Hello to everybody, and we hope you liked our application. See you next time. Bye.